What kind of stuff do you do when you, what is his day like, basically? Well, his, his routine is uh, getting fed in the morning, to make sure he has enough hay and water to eat for the day, and then basically repeat that <laughs> in the afternoon. Um, right now, all we're really trying to do is make sure he is growing at an appropriate rate, And that's basically what we're doing with right now. As you can see, you know, he's a nice, good sized horse with a big rear end and a big shoulder, so he's, you know, really doing very well. Um, right now, as far as his life is concerned, it's really pretty low key. Very low management, actually. Um, the only time he's really handled in the barn is when he has to come to the farrier or to come to the vet. You mean you get his ho you get horse shoes, you get shoes, you mean? Shoes you don't shoe horses until they're really under regular training. Oh, okay. They just get their feet filed off so that they don't throw too much excess foot. Um, so that's, you know, we he gets his feet done about once every five or six weeks. And then he gets that vaccinated on a regular basis. And that's really, you know, what the deal is. We find that yearlings grow faster and better with more um, solid bone, which lends itself to be useful in future racing if they're kept outside and exercise. We try to keep the horses outside as much as possible. So the fact that uh, Papa Charlie spends more time out than in is a good thing. Um, a lot of people think that the, you know, that what working with horses is is bringing them in and grooming them, and that's really not the case when you're trying to grow a racehorse. When you're trying to grow a racehorse, you want them to be outside using themselves, and uh, you want to have a really good feed program.